In 2009, we made a promise to every family in Monongalia and surrounding counties. And the promise is this, to change end-of-life care. It's an idea built on the need for an alternative course of treatment when curative medicine is no longer an option. But we didn't build a place to die. This is a place to live through dying. It is a song to the dignity, the respect, and the love every one of us deserves. Combining the science of medicine and the compassion of the human heart to take the time we have left and make it meaningful. This is not a hospital. It is a collection of compassionate people and boundless emotional support and unconditional devotion. Sundale Palliative Care Center is a magnet for the hearts and hands that make a difference. People who thrive on the purpose of contributing to life, even at the end of life. Palliative care provides treatment and support for an age-related health condition or an illness that is terminal, and the patient has chosen to forego active treatment. And for each terminal patient, there is a promise to fulfill. My dad's very loving. Um, he's a type of person who would give you the shirt off his back. Um, enjoyed uh, what he could in life. Mother was always there whenever I was growing up. Uh, she would help my father who got laid off frequently from the coal mine. Well, Randy was, uh, Randy was a horseman all his life. And he became, um, I think he even went, well, I know he even went to uh, university and uh, he studied uh, x-ray tech. Very intelligent, very intelligent man. Well, a year ago, September, my mom and dad, who used to live in Ohio, came for a visit um, for his birthday. And I noticed he was jaundiced. And as it turned out, he had, um, he had a tumor in his bile duct, which ended up being cancerous. Mother was staying with me she had lived with us for five years after my father had passed away and she started showing signs of dementia where she would take off and leave. Randy uh, found out because he couldn't walk. He started, couldn't, his muscles just started giving out. So he uh, seeked out medical uh, attention and they uh, discovered that he had MD. That's when I became involved because he had nobody else to uh, take care of him. You know, you're just trying to do everything you can, you know, to keep him together and, um, and healthy and so forth. And his medical needs were getting worse. I remember one time when one of the young ladies came in and she says, Donna, this is the hardest decision in my life. But my mom now has some severe dementia and she's trying to take care of my dad and it's just not working. Whenever families come in and they're having that guilty feeling about placing their loved one, especially end of life, um, you know, they, they always say to me, oh, you know, I'm just overwhelmed at this point. I'm having a really hard time. And what I say to them is, you know, what's going to happen once they become a patient here at our facility or a resident here at our facility is now we're going to be providing that quantity of time that they need for their care. And what you're going to get is quality time with them because you're not just going to have to take care of them all the time. You don't have to, to change them and, and turn them and, and all that stuff that you have to do. But now we're going to do that and you come in and enjoy your time with them. He's very comfortable. He looks good. Um, and my mom and I are very fresh when we come here to visit him, you know, which is important because when you're trying to take care of him at home, you're, you're exhausted, you know, and it just, um, it doesn't always work. This, this move here is just what the doctor ordered. Uh, just very, very uh, uh, happy that, uh, and thankful that uh, that happened. And I'm sure he's going to enjoy uh, his life a lot better. What she's doing now, she, uh, can tell. I think of a gentleman who he didn't have family and most of the, the residents here have family. This gentleman did not have family and the staff at Sundale were his family. 
We had our music therapist in there singing him his country road song. And we had our social worker in there to do some guided imagery because he loved Mountaineer football games. And so we just kind of walked through what it felt like to be at a Mountaineer game and the smell of the popcorn. One thing I know that she really likes is getting her hair done because she was always fastidious about her hair. She had to have it done every week. And I'm trying to, to keep that that part of her past up, uh, updated. They were bending over backwards to make sure that he had that tomato soup with the cheese sandwich broken up in it. And those are the things that, um, those are the things he likes, you know, and um, uh, he, I really appreciate them doing that. I give these people a lot of credit for all the hours they put in. It's hard work, and, but they're, they're wonderful. They are absolutely wonderful. Having been associated with Sundale for the last 23 years, you get to know a lot of the residents that we have here. They've actually become an extended, or part of our extended family. Um, and you know, as time goes on, uh, some people, you know, their conditions do decline. And palliative care or terminal end of life care is offered to them. Um, you, you also you, you you get you get to know the family members. Um, you know you you go back, you share a hug, you know, cry with them, um, ex extend anything. You, you do we'll, we'll do anything that we can. You know during the actively dying process. Um, I don't know. It's 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 just. I don't know. If, I don't know if life changing is the right word for that or not, but. Uh, it, it, it really does give you a sense of purpose to know that you can help someone during an extremely difficult period of time in their life. This is not end-of-life care as you know it. This is palliative care at Sundale, fulfilling the promise for loved ones and their families. When the only option is living through dying, there's the Palliative Care Center at Sundale. End-of-life comfort, end-of-life compassion, end-of-life care.